Do you think lo-fi is profitable to sell on IG, BeatStars, and YouTube? Maybe. I am Barack Obama. I am Barack Obama. Leasing beats, all that stuff, I personally feel like is dead. You guys do your own research. Try it out. There's so many ways to make money as a producer. Streams isn't the way either. I'm not gonna lie. You can put out music for streaming, but they're gonna pay you pennies. It'll be several years before you make money. So I personally would suggest, when it comes to lo-fi, don't even think about money, all right? Think about fun first. <laughs> think about the enjoyment. Think about if that's what you like to make, if that's what you like to listen to. Don't even worry about money because it's not gonna come for a while, especially if you don't have the passion for it. Now, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm not sure if I've talked about this before, but I'm gonna give you guys a real, real, real gem, and you're not gonna like it. But if you really wanna make money, you gotta be an influencer, bro. I'm just saying, like, I've been doing a lot of thinking about this, bro. I've been doing a lot of thinking about it, and the most money I've ever made, pound for pound, is from influencer stuff, bro. And I'm a producer, but look, I'm gonna put this out into the world right now. When I dropped an album with Universal Music Group, biggest label in the world, right? Dolce Gramophone is the biggest classical label of all time. We made a lo-fi classical album. I got an advance, it was nice. It was a good chunk of change. It was under six figures, it was higher five figures. It was a good advance, right? Last year, I did a certain brand deal with a certain big company that paid me just as much. It wasn't more, but it was just as much as an advance for a major label album. And all I had to do was make videos, bro. I'm just saying, get you a camera. <laughs> I saw a tweet earlier. It said, if I gave you $500 to invest in your music career, what would you get? A fucking camera, bro. Bro said I'm sounding like Nick D. But Nick D, he don't even do brand deals. He just makes content that promotes his music, which is great. But I'm just saying, if you guys know how to make videos, you gotta try to get some brand deals. You still gotta build up your brand, obviously. So, and that takes time. Look at Sides. Have you seen Sides? She works with every single music company. Now, shout out to her. I've seen her sing. She's talented, but I'm sure she's making infinitely more money than she ever was if she was releasing songs. She's the person right now that our companies are reaching out to, to just make videos, promoting their products, and I'm sure she's making bands, bro, so. Just saying. Pretty depressing that you gotta be an influencer in order to make money. I'm not really an introvert, but I struggle with social media. Like, no, listen, bro, I totally agree with that, and this isn't a necessity. I don't want anybody coming to this video and being like, no, but I'm a musician. I'm just saying, if you're somebody who's savvy with a camera and likes making content, that is a viable path. Like if you make content that looks good for brands, then you can attract them and start making money that way. Or at the very least, get free shit. Think about how much money you can save by doing these videos. Like this Polybrute, I think this Polybrute's like $3,000 and they sent it to me in exchange for a YouTube video. I think I did two YouTube videos for them. I'm just saying like that could save you money and then you can put that money back into your whatever your fucking rent or whatever if you're gonna buy the synth. I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. And I will say I do make more money from like streaming revenue consistently than I do from brand deals. It's also super sparse. One day I'll get a brand deal for $2,000, another one for $10,000 several months later, and then the bigger ones with the bigger companies come here and there, so. That's just one of the biggest sources of income that people don't think about, I feel. I seen this girl saying that she doesn't want to do that because she cares about her fans more than making money for music. So she ain't want to do brand deals. I said, fuck all that. Where the bands at? No, but here's the thing, bro. You got to have good rapport with your fans. Any real fans are going to see an ad from you and they're going to be like, get that bag, King. I know me, unless you guys are just haters. Whenever I see any sponsor content from any creators or musicians or anybody that I like, I'm like, get that bag. Like my boy, Austin Mills, he's always doing partnerships with Sony for like their headphones. I'll comment some silly shit. I'll be like, yo, I just bought five of these because of this video. Shout out to you. Support your people, bro. If I do a sponsorship on YouTube, bro, just skip that shit, bro. Let us make our sh money so that we can keep making content for you guys. Like if you don't want to see the ad, literally, 
fast forward. Whoop. If you see an ad on Instagram, whoop, swipe that shit, bro. I am Barack Obama. I am Barack Obama.